everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today, I'll have another episode of Toronto Tips and Tricks video, and I'll talk about the best things to see in Toronto. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel for you. If you're looking for more Toronto videos, there'll be links in the description box below. When it comes to the best things to see in Toronto, there's no right or wrong answers and my top three picks are based on my own personal experience and definitely this is going to be different than many others. So all these three, three things have something in common which are they're all kid friendly, they're all inexpensive and they all have easy access. So let's begin with my first top pick. My number one pick is the Toronto Islands. The Toronto Islands, also called the Island or Toronto Island Park, are a chain of 15 small islands located in Lake Ontario, a short 13-minute ferry ride from downtown Toronto. The most three popular islands are Central Island, Ward Island, and Hamlands Point. On the islands, you'll find sandy swimming beaches, bike, canoe and kayak rentals, a marina, sports and park facilities, big grass fields for picnics, a theater, nature trails, a fire station, and some residents. Regrettably, most Torontonians have never put their foot on this small paradise and if you'd like to find out more about the Toronto Islands then I do have a video on this which will be in the description box below. The Tall Ship Kayama. This is my number two pick. This is a Toronto boat cruise on a 165 foot tall ship schooner living from Toronto downtown harbour farm. I find the $35 price provides value sailing on Toronto Harbour and Lake Ontario and you will see beautiful Toronto skyline from the other side. They even go close to the islands, fire a cannon and sing. There is a mini bar offering drinks, snacks and food, washrooms are clean. Employees are very friendly and nice as well. Regrettably, many Torontonians have never taken a boat cruise to see the beautiful Toronto from the other side. There will be more links of my tall ship uh, cruise in the description box below. My number three pick is the Trillium Park. The Trillium Park is located next to Ontario Place in Toronto. This is a stunning arbor waterfront park. It has the best views for both sunrises and sunsets and offers an unobstructed view of the CN Tower and Toronto skyline. In my opinion, this is the best park I have ever seen anywhere. Unfortunately, most Torontonians have never heard of Trillium Park. If you'd like to see more Trillium Park videos, there will be links in the description box below. So these are my top three picks and they're all cheap, all kid friendly and they don't take long to reach and easily accessible. So I hope you'll uh, visit these places and if you like this video, then definitely you know I'll uh, be making more videos like this. So for the next video, I'll put a link here, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.